Welcome to my channel. In this video you will show global version original, brand new top best selling smart pure sign wave inverter product on AliExpress, with discount price, to help you find a quality one. Here are 5 things you should look for, when buying a new power station. When looking for a portable power station, battery capacity is the most important specification you should be looking for. The bigger the battery capacity, the longer you can run your devices per charge. So, in general, buy the highest capacity battery you can. However, considering size, weight, and cost, you might want to go for a more calculated approach. When considering the battery capacity of your portable power, Station dot since different manufacturers use different metrics to measure the battery capacity of their portable power stations, knowing battery capacity can be confusing. The most popular metrics used in measuring battery capacity would include ma, milliamp hour, ah, amp hour, wh, watt hour, and kilowatt hours. Kilowatt hour dot electronic devices usually indicate their maximum power consumption in watt hours, which you can find marked on various types of power supplies. If the power supply in indicates its power rating in watts. Remember that 1 watt is equal to 1 watt hour. To better understand how long a portable power station can power your device, you first need to know its battery capacity in watt hours. To do that, you can check its watt hour rating, but if it only indicates battery capacity in ma, milliamp hours, or a uh, amp hours, you can take those numbers, plus its rated system voltage, 12V or 24V, and look up its watt hour rating using this graph below so. Let's say your laptop is rated to operate at a maximum of 90W or 90WH, and the portable power station has a battery of capacity of 40,000 ma on a 12 volt system. Using the table above, you'll see that the power station has a battery capacity of 480WH. If you divide that by the 90WH that the laptop uses, you can expect around 5 hours of runtime. Without accounting for power loss and other variables. Another important thing you should be looking for in a portable power station is battery technology or the type of battery it utilizes. The type of battery used in a portable power station heavily determines the size, weight, cost, charging speed, and how long your power station can keep producing AC power. Before cutting off. Lithium ion batteries charge three times faster than lead acid batteries and are the most energy dense out of the three. On the other hand, Lithium polymer batteries are less energy dense than Li-ion batteries, but have fast charging capabilities, and are generally safer to use than Li-ion and lead acid station to use during emergencies. And a lead acid power station should suffice. Depending on the device you're trying to power, having the right inverter in your portable power station can save your delicate devices from damage and make them work as efficiently as possible. Saving battery charge. Power inverters are electrical components that convert your battery's direct current, DC, to alternating current, AC. DC is used to charge your battery-powered handheld devices, such as your phone, tablet, and Bluetooth earbuds, while AC is used to power more power-hungry devices, such as your laptop, computer, TV, and gaming consoles. Disclaimer, these choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when if this will be back in stock. You need to go to Top 5 All Best Pure Sign Wave Inverter 2023 review link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel.